Congratulations on the purchase of your brand new enduro e-bike. We know you're excited to get out there and feel the wind on your face and see what this ride can really do. But before you start, you may want to know how to turn on the display and read its functions. Don't worry, this won't take long and you'll be out on the road or trail in no time. As you can see, this high contrast and colorful 3-inch LCD display makes for a very readable and enjoyable experience. We will go into the specifics on most of these indicators, but for now, here's a quick overview of what you will see when riding. From this screen, you can view your current speed, your max speed, and your average speed for your current commute. Of course, it also shows how far you've gone with an odometer and how much battery there is left on the right-hand side of the display. It also shares what pedal assist mode you're in, which goes up to level nine. More on that later. If there's any issues with the bike, there's a spot on the display right next to the battery where an air code will display. And that'll be your cue to give us a call for real-time, lifetime product tech support. Because this bike's electric, you might be curious as to what weather conditions it can withstand. Well, this really is an all-weather kind of vehicle. The display is certified IP65 waterproof. So even if it's raining extremely hard, the display will continue to function. It can also operate under some pretty extreme conditions from negative 20 to plus 70 degrees Celsius and can handle storage conditions of minus 30 to plus 80 degrees Celsius. So no matter where you live, this display is tough enough to cope with it all. Everything is tech related these days and your new e-bike is no different. The display is the brains of the operation. It both turns on and off your bike as well as shares critical information about your commute. Right here on the handlebars is the display power switch. Simply press and hold the power button for three seconds and it will turn on. You'll also notice a plus and minus button on the display switch. When toggling through the display, these serve as your up and down options. For safety's sake, you'll need to know how to turn the backlight on and off. Hold the up or plus button for three seconds. And you'll see the display change, making it easier to read in darker conditions. Now to set your basic parameters, like your clock or brightness. You'll want to double press the M button for the menu. You can navigate these options by using the plus and minus buttons and the M button to enter and select your options. To exit this screen, just double tap the M button again. The display will automatically quit the menu if there's no movement for 30 seconds. This auto off feature represents the time it takes before the bike automatically shuts off power. It's defaulted to five minutes, but you can customize this anywhere from one to nine minutes. The battery indicator option allows you to review the battery's remaining strength in either voltage or percentage. Voltage, percentage. To set the clock, toggle down to that section and press the menu button. From here, use those up and down buttons to select the correct year, month, day, hour, minute, and even down to the second if you want. One cool feature of this display is password protection. You can set up a password to prevent the bike from being started before it's entered. To set up this feature, simply press the menu button, enter in the desired passcode that you'd like to use with your bike, scroll down to set password off, Hit the menu button to change it to on, and then simply press the plus button to go back. Now, upon starting your bike, you will be prompted to enter the same passcode that you just configured. Enter the passcode that you chose, and once entered, the bike will now power on. Once set, the bike gives you 30 seconds to input the correct password. After three failed attempts, the bike will automatically power off. One more helpful spot in the basic settings falls under the information section. Navigate to the information section and enter into it. Here you can find your average and max speeds, trip and complete odometer readings, product information on hardware and software versions and battery information. So if you need to know what your battery's health, temperature, voltage or capacity, it's right here. So there are some of the basic features and functions of the display but there are also a couple of critical elements that every rider should know about. First is the speed mode. Now, depending on where you live, you may be restricted to how fast you can go. You can set the max speed via the display so that you don't get yourself in trouble. 
It's easy to adjust so that when you're somewhere without restrictions or in the back country, you can kick it into high gear and really let loose. You need to access the advanced settings in order to do this. Access this area from the same basic settings area that we were just in. Toggle down to advanced settings and press the menu button. It will prompt you for a password. The default password is 1801. Once you enter this area, you will see several options here. And the first one is to set the speed limit. Use the up and down buttons to select your range, which goes from zero to 100 kilometers per hour with the default set at 99. Super easy. The third option here to focus on is the pedal assist. Now pedal assist with you as the rider allows you to pedal easier and move faster. Depending on the level you choose, you'll engage different levels of power output from the motor. This assistance will feel like you're getting a push while you pedal. The higher the setting, the more push you receive and the easier to manage off-road terrain or uphill climbs. The more pedal assist you use, the more power output you'll use from the battery, so keep that in mind. This display offers up to nine user-selectable power assist levels, shown here. It may take some time to get used to which pedal assist modes suit your needs best, but once set, you will only find yourself changing it if you switch environments that you're riding in. And before we wrap up this video, I want to show you what to do if you get one of these check engine lights on the display. This table can help you narrow down what kind of air is happening. When this indicator appears down here by the time, you'll see the air code. The bike could have a simple connection issue, be low on battery, or need more advanced help. Regardless of the circumstance, if you need support, you can always contact our support representatives. Not only do you have a full one-year warranty on all of the bike components, but you have lifetime product support available to you. So that's it, riders. I hope this information gets you excited to go test out what your new Enduro e-bike can do. If you want to learn more about the ins and outs of your new bike, you can always contact your assigned support team for specific manuals and repair videos. Be safe and have a great time out there.